hello besties it's carol welcome or welcome back to my channel today's video we are doing like a little special video we are doing what i'm calling the ultimate book video i'm basically just gonna do all things bookish today so we're gonna go book shopping i'm actually gonna go thrifting though i want to see if i can find anything thrifting i'm gonna go to three like thrift stores if i don't find anything there then i'll give you guys like a little book haul of some books that i've collected since my last book haul if you didn't watch that it'll be up there a little bit of like a reading vlog type thing so it is the 2nd of august when i'm filming this and i haven't read any books yet like i haven't started any books because i'm as i'm a little bit behind on things yeah i think my first book for the month is going to be final offer by lauren asher it's a chunky one i don't know why i decided this was gonna be my first book this month let's just get into it i'm very excited hopefully this video turns out okay let's hit the road i'm not driving but let, let's hit the road from our book shopping extravaganza, I guess. Sorry I didn't get a lot of footage, at least I felt like I didn't get a lot of footage. People film in public all the time, but I am just not there yet in my um, booktube career, at least when I'm by myself. Like if I was with like my mom or something, I think I would've been fine and had her take footage. It would've been less awkward. I went to a Goodwill. The selection there today was kind of poopy. I mean, last time I went there with my friend, and like, I feel like every time I go there, they have like a lot of good like book of the month books. I don't know who's donating their book of the month books, but usually there's a ton of those there, but there was just nothing today. And it was kind of busy. And yeah, so I didn't get anything there. Then I went to a second store called Boomerangs, which is like a thrift store that's literally like a block or two from my house. And I've never been there before. But I always wanted to go. I saw online that they had a book selection and of course I saw that they were half off their books on Thursdays and I went there today which is Wednesday but I have to work now on Thursdays so I might pop back in after work tomorrow. I don't know. They had some okay books. Some of the Divergent books. I've never read Divergent. I know. Comment down below if I should read Divergent. There wasn't much in there. Their books were like $2.50, at least their paperbacks, and I think their hardcover were like $3. But I did find one book there. I found The Kiss of Deception, let me move this way, by Mary E. Pearson, which I think is a trilogy. And yeah, I was like, I love Dance of Thieves. It's one of my favorite books of all time. Hold on. I'll do a little special um, thing for you guys. Another book that I recently purchased on Pango Books. I bought the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition. I mean, look at that gold. Are you, are you kidding? I just had to get it because Dance of Thieves is my favorite book of this year. And it's my first exclusive edition. Um, I mean, wow, it truly is beautiful. And I can't wait to be able to display it. I think she obviously came out with this trilogy or duet i don't know exactly know what it is but i saw someone on booktube talk about this like randomly and she's like oh i really liked the first book i don't think she really liked the second book 
but I was like $2.50, I'll give it a try. It takes place in the same universe, actually, I think, because I was like reading and it was like the Kingdom of Morgan, Morgan, Mor Morgan, sorry if I'm not even pronouncing that remotely correctly. And I was like, wait, that sounds like Dance of Thieves. And I opened the map and I was like, the map is the same. So it takes place in like the same universe, I think. Don't quote me on that. Again, $2 and like 50 cents or something. And I got a book. I don't know when I'll get to this. It'll be read eventually. Who knows when? And then lastly, I went to another Goodwill that was like across the street from this one. I usually don't go in there for books. I looked at their book selection before and it's never great. And that was true today. I mean, I saw a few Harry Potter books. I saw like a summary book, but I wasn't gonna go pick it up. I got one book, so I'm proud of myself for at least getting something. Cause I felt like if I didn't get anything, it would have been a flop. That's like the book shopping and haul portion of this video. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of like a reading vlog. I'm gonna start final offer. I have a little bit more time before my video from last week goes up, which is my TBR jar picks my August reads. So if you want to go check that out, definitely do so because it was so much fun. I honestly had so much fun. Hope you guys enjoyed that little book shopping book haul thing. It was kind of honestly so much fun. Let's go and read. besties it is the next day i'm coming on here to update you guys um i haven't updated yet since i have started final offer only because it's not really like a dedicated reading vlog so i'm this far in i'm on page 325 currently and you're like wow kira you've been flying through this book it's taken you a day to read 325 pages it must be good <laughs> that's not bad I am just so bored. I am so bored. Like, I like something should happen in 325 pages. I know it's a 500 page book, but like something good needs to happen and nothing, nothing is happening. I feel like, I feel like I've read like 50 pages. There's just nothing happening. And I'm so upset because this was supposed to be my favorite book have like 200 pages or 100 and something pages so maybe the book will get good i don't know and we're gonna do another book haul because i ordered this book yesterday because it was marked down on amazon you guys gonna be real mad at me if you want to see why because i got thrive and i haven't even read the third book yet and i own the next three after it i can't really explain it other than the fact that it was it was marked down. It was like $3 cheaper, so. I don't even think it will fit on my bookshelf. Oh, it does. Slay. Look at that, it does fit. Looks great. Now I gotta move this. Just... Up there for now. I am going to my first ever book signing in September. I think it's September 12th. And it's for Lucy Score. She is coming to Boston. So I got my tickets last night. I was freaking out because it's my first book signing and I have no idea which option I had to pick. So I saw somebody commented. She's like, oh, just got my tickets for Boston. So excited. And I DM'd her and I was like, girl, this is my first signing. Like, which one do you pick to be able to like listen to her talk and get my book signed of things we left behind? And she told me, and then, so I booked the tickets immediately last night because I didn't know if they like sell out or something. Anyway, September 12th, I'm going to see Lucy Score and she's going to sign my Lucian and Insulon book. If you didn't know, it actually comes out my birthday, September 5th. So 
that'll be a great conversation for us to have. I am so, like, I get embarrassed so easily when talking to, like, people that are, like, famous, I guess. I get all, like, flushed and stuff, so I'm really scared. It's like a birthday present to myself. I mean, she already gave me a book, one of the best books coming out on my birthday. The least she could do is have a signing near me. I don't know if I'll talk to you guys before I finish the book or not. I'm gonna probably say no. Uh, I'm gonna go. Bye. Hey besties, I just got home from work. I finished final offer today at work and I really wanted to love it. I really wanted to love it and I don't know what it was about it that I just, I think it was just because I was 300 pages in and so incredibly bored. And I'm not sure what I wanna rate it yet. I don't know if I wanna rate it a three out of five stars or like three and a half. The fine print is still surprisingly my favorite book on the whole entire series, especially in this book to see Rowan. I just love him. I don't know what it is about him, but I truly love his character so much. I love his character in all the books. And then Declan, I liked more in this book than I did in his own book. I just don't know if I liked this one more than Terms and Conditions or not. I'm sad that it just didn't click with me. I don't know if I'll just continue this reading vlog until I have to post this in a couple days. If not, you're either see me reading another book, which I cannot stop thinking about how much I want to read Throne of Glass. So I'm gonna probably read Throne of Glass next. I just can't stop thinking about it. Onto the outro. You guys know better than I do for the next clip. See you guys soon. Hey besties, it is a couple days since I last filmed. I have finished Throne of Glass since then. I was gonna give my thoughts, but you just have to wait till my wrap up. Cause like, if it was like the most amazing book I've ever read, then I, I definitely would have like talked about it, but yeah, you'll just see my wrap-up video at the end of the month. I had a lot of fun f actually editing this video. I got a lot more clips than I thought, and just watching me go book shopping was kind of fun. And I am glad that I got a book, so I didn't feel completely like a flop. As you can see in the background, my bookshelves are kind of full. So stay tuned for next week's video, because I have something special that I've done once or twice already on this channel coming next week. Make sure to follow all my socials down below, my Amazon wishlist and my Goodreads. Just check those out if you want to. Like, comment, and subscribe to stick around and see what next week's video is going to entail. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!